So in the process of looking for a new video idea for today's video, I came across a post on Reddit for a double beef and bacon burger, which got me thinking about all the times that I've had the double beef and bacon burger from McDonald's. I'm sure you all know about it. It was one of my personal favorites. So I knew exactly what today's video was gonna be about, at least until maybe an hour ago when I tried ordering it on Uber. Turns out they got rid of it. So today, instead of comparing it to McDonald's, we're gonna be bringing it back. And not only that, we're gonna be making it much better than they ever could have. Let's get into it. So as I'm guessing many of you remember the double beef and bacon as a extraordinarily simple burger. It was simply just two patties, one slice of cheese, a little bit of bacon, and I believe it was mustard, tomato, and a tiny bit of onion. You know how McDonald's run, they put like three cubes of onion on the top, so we're obviously gonna improve on that. I couldn't actually figure out if they added pickles or not. A few videos I saw, they didn't add pickles, but on the ad, it looks like there was pickles. I don't actually have pickles, so I'm not actually gonna bother with that, although realistically, you should be adding pickles. It's a burger, it's like a cheeseburger, but like, on crack so let's get started all right so we're gonna want to start off by grabbing ourselves a cutting board and we're gonna grab ourselves our onion to start off with we're gonna cut it into very thin pieces we don't want to make it too thick and then something i've learned from watching a handful of videos online is it's a good idea to actually wash your onion to get rid of some of the more intense onion flavors so we'll do that and next thing, we'll grab a small little bowl and start making our sauce, which is roughly one to two tablespoons of mayo, then like maybe a tablespoon of ketchup, half to one tablespoon of mustard. And then I added just a little too much El Yucateco Caribbean hot sauce. It's a habanero hot sauce, so it is a little bit spicy by itself, but added properly into the sauce, it's not too bad and adds a nice layer of flavor next you just want to mix that up taste and make sure it's sort of exactly what you want i added a little bit of vinegar because i like having a little bit more sourness and acidity in there and now we're going to set our oven to 200 degrees fan forced let that preheat and we'll set our bacon onto our baking tray with baking paper and then we'll grab ourselves a scale a bowl and we'll chuck our minced meat in there i used an 80 20 beef mince I would recommend if you can to grind your own meat. I actually don't have a meat grinder, so I didn't. And I just chucked some salt and some freshly ground black pepper. And I just mixed that up nice and well. And form those each into balls of around 80 grams each, somewhere along those lines. They don't have to be exactly the same, but ideally they're roughly 80 to 90 gram per ball. And then over to the stove where we have our nice new carbon steel pan set up on one of the bigger burners and i set it up to high heat and you just want to let that heat up until it starts smoking in which case add yourself some vegetable oil you want to use vegetable oil not an olive oil because otherwise the heat is just too much and you want to chuck your ball of meat on to the pan and i made a super makeshift like spatula squishy thing my spatula has a whole bunch of holes in it so i just put tin foil on to uh, cover the holes so there weren't a whole bunch of dots all over the patty but as you can see, it's sort of stuck to the patty. So I'd recommend if you can get one of those flat spatulas, which I will be getting now, and just use something like a rolling pin or something to push down onto the patty and make sure it's quite flat. And you just wanna sort of let it cook for a little bit on one side, give it a flip, nice and crispy on the one side, and just let it cook for another, I don't know, five-ish minutes. And then you wanna take the patties off, let them sit, and while that's happening, toast your buns. Now be very careful with this. When the heat is so high, it only takes 30 seconds and they're toasted. So now finally to build the burgers, we've already cooked our bacon. I didn't really mention that in the past bit. First, we're gonna put some cheese on one side of the buns and chuck that under the grill for a minute or two, not too long. And then we wanna bring it out, start with some sauce, then a patty, and then we want bacon between the two patties. So put our three rashes of perfectly cooked bacon, some more sauce, another patty, some more sauce. You can't go wrong with as much sauce as you want. It really makes a difference in my opinion. Those onions and top it off with the top of your bun. All right, so as we can see, I personally think it came out quite nice. Looks pretty decent. I'm definitely happy with the bacon. I've only recently started doing the whole oven baking bacon thing and it's awesome to be honest. But I mean, none of that really matters if it doesn't taste good. So 
Let's give it a shot. Like, holy shit. That's really good. It's like everything good about a double beef and bacon, just like amplified by the fact that it's actually made by like real meat and not like scrappings off their factory floor. I mean, the sauce, mint. I really like the spice it adds. It's not too much, it's just enough. But yeah, if you enjoyed, be sure to uh, subscribe, hit the like and the bell, all that jazz, and I'll see you for the next one.